Now what do you get if you mix an external power bank with a tripod hand grip and a wireless remote? Well, you get this, the GoPro Volta. Launched in 2021, the flagship GoPro Hero 10 is still topping the best action cameras of 2022 list and bettering the Hero 9 Black with its updated processor, smoother performance and improved connectivity. Now both the Hero 9 and the Hero 10 can enjoy a battery boost and easier access to key controls with GoPro's nifty new battery grip, the GoPro Volta. Available as part of a new creator bundle which includes the Hero 10, a media mod and a light mod, or as an individual accessory for those who already have the camera, upon first impression the GoPro Volta is pretty simple. A grip with some controls thrown in. And it's a pretty decent grip at that, it feels seriously robust, comfortable and rather chunky in the hand. In typical GoPro fashion, with a primarily plastic construction and some rubberized sections thrown in, it does carry a premium feel and it's rather ergonomic in the hand too, with the main controls conveniently placed at the user's thumb. Before we go there though, we'll start at the top where we find the GoPro mounting fingers, although before mounting the Hero 10 you'll want to do two things. Update the camera to the latest firmware to ensure compatibility with the Volta hand grip, which is pretty straightforward with the GoPro Quick smartphone app, as well as replace the side door with one that's included within the Volta package, which is a tight opening for the USB-C port. A simple process involving opening and unclipping the original door, clipping the new one into place and closing to lock the battery into position, now providing open access to the camera's USB-C port. With that said, we're ready to mount the camera to the top of the Volta using the included thumb screw. And with the GoPro in place, we can go ahead with attaching the Volta's USB connection directly to the camera through its now exposed side port. Not only does this allow the Volta to interface with the camera, which we'll come to in just a moment, it also charges the GoPro's battery. In fact, we can see the camera charging right now. With a 4,900 milliamp battery, the Volta packs roughly three times the capacity of a standard Hero 10 battery, which is significant. In fact, GoPro claim up to four hours of usage at the camera's highest 5.3K 30 frames per second settings. Although it does come with a downside, the camera and the entire Volta unit for that matter is not waterproof, so you can't go dunking this underwater. It is weatherproof though, so the odd shower of rain won't phase it. It's a shame the cable couldn't be unplugged and replaced with a stopper for full waterproofing, but nevertheless when it comes to charging the internal battery, there's a USB-C port that lives under a flap below the coiled cable. A USB charging cable is included within the package, although speed of charge depends upon your charging adapter. Also note that the USB cable can actually be used as a power bank to charge your phone or any other devices too. Moving across to the side we have the main controls consisting of Bluetooth pairing, battery status, record and mode buttons, all providing a nice tactile click when pressed. A strip of LED lights indicates the grip's battery status, with each light showing 20% of capacity remaining, as well as the mode your camera's in, making remote shooting less of a guessing game. Finally, on the rear we have a concealed GoPro mount released into view with the press of a spring-loaded button. This means you can mount the Volta onto other accessories without having to dismount your GoPro, made even easier with the swivel system implemented into the top, meaning the camera can swivel around in 90 degree increments in order to point in any direction of your choosing. The mount does lock open too, while another press of the same button unlocks it so that it can be placed back into the hand grip when not needed. The final built-in feature is further down the hand grip. At the bottom we have a tether point for the included and pre-attached wrist strap, as well as a standard metal quarter inch thread for attachment to mounts or selfie poles. Although two sections of the grip itself fan out and create a tripod. Perfect for capturing time lapses for instance or for times when you want a group shot. It's pretty stable in this configuration too, no major issues there and they fold away neatly when not in use. All in all, the design is rather impressive. The coiled USB-C cable can be a little fiddly to plug in and manoeuvre around, but a twist here and there means whether you have the media mod hooked up or just the GoPro, it's a workable system. So upon switching the GoPro on, well that's where we stop with my first problem. The GoPro had completely crashed and would not power on. I even removed the Volta cable completely, which made no difference, but notice how the battery charging LEDs stay lit 
so the GoPro had completely crashed. The only way to resolve this was to pull the battery, unfortunately a process that's all too often with the latest GoPro these days, and upon reinserting and reconnecting the Volta hand grip, we finally had some progress, a Volta error, but some progress nonetheless. Finally it came down to the Volta having a low battery, so with that charged somewhat, I finally managed to get things working, whereby the GoPro will recognise the connected accessory and apply an update to the Volta. Before taking you through a short Bluetooth setup process, it's a pretty painless exercise and once complete you'll be able to use the controls as you are pressing the buttons on the camera itself. So the mode button cycles through the time lapse, video and photo modes as normal, with the LED lights on the hand grip indicating the current active mode, while the record button starts and stops capture. Of course we can press the battery button at any time to check battery capacity remaining on the hand grip itself, not of the camera. And that's pretty much it. These don't give you granular control over your camera so you can't enter and change settings for instance, but do cover the basics, just like the GoPro Remote in fact. In essence it is a built in GoPro Remote, nothing more. Although thanks to that Bluetooth connection process you are able to use the controls without the camera connected via the USB-C cable, which is handy if you do not have the GoPro Remote I guess, but otherwise it's not a feature that actually makes much sense, considering you're keeping the tripod in your hand with the remote and the GoPro alone. DJI's solution with their Action 2 worked much better in this regard since you could remove the remote from the actual hand grip itself and still keep the camera on its tripod. Otherwise though the system works well as intended. The swivel feature is very useful providing the ability to orientate and control the camera in selfie mode or in normal mode, as well as while mounting to other objects with the side mount extended. In essence the Volta's grip is comfortable, its features are logical and for the most part its design does a great job of helping you get even more from your GoPro. It easily converts into a tripod and when the legs are locked in grip mode it's secure and having the option to mount the Volta is incredibly handy. The main area the Volta dropped the ball for me was awkwardness. The USB cable is a cold dangly thing that hangs off the grip body and can't be removed. I would have preferred a removable cable rather than a fixed one, or another more elegant solution, maybe even with a stopper making the entire unit more waterproof. Saying that, the wireless solution does work well, although if you're a heavy wireless user then a dedicated GoPro remote will be easier to handle and offers the same wireless controls, albeit with a display screen thrown in too. Ultimately what it comes down to is this, if you have a Hero 8 or another action camera then the Volta isn't as useful and you won't reap the full benefits from it. Of course it's also useless for those who want to dive or snorkel underwater too, and the wireless features really don't make much sense. In fact the control system itself is a little overkill. Don't get me wrong it makes using the system easy, but with the camera itself directly on top I found myself instinctively reaching for the camera anyway, just like I would when using the shorty hand grip, and then for remote operation the GoPro remote just makes more sense over this entire hand grip. On the other hand if you're after a small compact filming rig for your daily adventures and don't want to carry spare batteries around with you, thanks to the built in 4900 milliamp battery keeping the camera topped up throughout the day, then the Volta fills that gap nicely and offers a great solution. Charge this overnight and it'll most likely keep you running throughout a days of vlogging adventures. In typical GoPro fashion you get what you pay for, a well manufactured, robust and high quality unit that packs several features into one well polished design. Whether it's useful depends upon what you use your camera for and whether you actually need it in the first instance. <laughs>